What's up, Last Breath Live? I just got out of school. I actually have only two days of school left. And um, today, something special. Our Bose came in for Matthews last week. And Mike, my buddy, Mike Crawford and I are going to set up, not we, uh, he doesn't have a turn in his pocket. He's gonna set up my V3 for me tonight. And I'm just gonna walk through what we're doing to the bow, why I'm doing it and uh, everything like that. So I've got my bow back here in the back seat. I also have Cody's, Jesse's, Matt's and Homie's bow. They're in the back. I've got some Whitetail Institute food plot seed. I've got a bunch of HHA sites and a bunch more stuff for Matthews, like quivers, stabilizers, arrow rests, stuff like that, that we're gonna put on the bows. And I'm gonna give to Jesse so that the rest of the guys can set their bows up. So it's gonna be a good evening filled with flinging some arrows and seeing a really good old friend who's uh, helped Garrett and I kill a bunch of deer over the last 14 or 15 years every time he sets a bow up for us. So I'll uh, check back in with you guys when we get down there to see Mike. He's, he's already sitting and waiting there like a freaking pro. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's funny. Huh. Is it a good omen that we're shooting siding in a bow in the rain? Oh yeah. yeah. Gonna kill a deer in the rain. That's what I that means. Stood right there. Right here. And I put two in the in the uh, two in the kill zone. In the kill. Well, in that circle down there a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was shooting at sixty yards. I put a different side on and trying it out. And I sixty. At sixty. Back and there? I put four out of the six in the four inch circle down there. Yeah. So. Got her sighted in, in the rain. Which bow were you shooting? Um, your competition, the Hoyt Helix. <laughs> Questionable. <laughs> no, Hoyt makes a good bow. Ah, uh, they're easy on my shoulder. Yeah? Yeah. There's a lots of people that make yeah. a good bow. Uh, yeah. Everybody's no, doing man. a good job. Just right. preference. Ooh, that's what you were shooting, huh? Yes, sir. Oh, that's cool. Got my stuff out here. I'm going with the green theme this year. Got some green monkey tails. Got a green 3D damper. Went with the uh, forest camo, forest quiver. Little QAD integrate rest. And I have actually not opened this thing yet. So we're gonna open it and see what it looks like. I went with a V3. And it's a 29 and a half inch draw, 70 pounds. Here we go. You're good luck. You can open it. What do we got in here anyway? Uh, it's a V3. V3. We're going to set up the V3 today. All right, grab her out of there. What do we got? A straight pink bow? I hope so. <laughs> Let me lay it down and can find it. Ooh, hey, you know what they call one of those? That's a free $1,000 hat right there. Boo-yah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> $3,000 hat. Did this come in your draw length? Yep. Okay. Yep, she's ready to roll. I'm going with the greened out motif this year. So we got the V3. All green strings and cables and everything like that. Big green monster. That way when you lay it down and you can find it. Yes. What's first? We're going to put it in the press. Where's your rest at? The rest. Okay. Ooh, we got some stickers. I love stickers. stickers. Yes. Brand um, new stickers. For the podcast table. Yeah. yeah. Put your... There's the rest. Rest on... and start setting it up. All right, we're gonna put the rest on, then we'll get you measured up for your D-loop. Which one did they, okay. Yep, yeah, that's the integrate. You set up, what, about a couple hundred of these probably? Couple hundred. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the math, I put about a dozen of these on and the Matthews, uh, I've only set 
about 10 Matthews up this year. Only so, 10, huh? They didn't. What are you doing now? What am I doing now? I'm going to put these pads on so Garrett doesn't make a grant doesn't make a lot of well garrett and grant don't make a lot of noise when they go out here to bang their arrows around on the rest maybe i won't put these on <laughs> let us scare deer away and i just got i've got your invite to the uh lightning. yes hha uh, oh hha yeah, got, got a little hha uh tetra max in here should it be anyway Oh, got a little blue burst, a little sight light. And, ooh, got this. HHA. Tetra Max. Shot a couple bucks with this sight last year. So big shout out to HHA. Love this sight. Super easy to set up. Last year, what did we set this up in, Mike? Like 20 minutes? Yes. It was pretty damn quick. And they're really easy to set up, which we'll go over this today as well. So, gonna be a really eventful day. The gentle hands of a bow tuning god. How many bows do you think you've tuned in your whole life, cumulatively? Over 5,000? A lot. We'll just put it that a way. Lot. A lot. <laughs> so, when I depress it here to put in your cable. So, basically, right now, is you're putting. Taking the pressure off the strings. Taking the pressure off the strings and we're going separate. to separate the cable so we can put your quad drop away cord in here. Matthew's done a good job of putting a serving right where we want to dead end this. If we can get the half color. Which is, this is really neat what they've done. See that? We're gonna bring this up here. And we're gonna feed it through. And then we're gonna back this off. Okay, so there's that. This is pretty sexual music to be setting up a bow to, Mike. Uh -huh. <laughs> you feeling what I'm feeling right he's, now? No. He's doing it with love. <laughs> <laughs> feeling the love. So basically, you got a knot going in on the top and the bottom of the knock. Yep, we're going to have, yep, little padded knots, about four of those or five. And you're setting those up so that what doesn't happen. It will keep your... What doesn't happen is your knock won't travel, won't wear out. I hope it don't wear out your D-loop. And we're not going to get any knock pinch doing this method, right? That's correct. <laughs> so now you <laughs> burned the end of these two off, these little buds. Yes, now sir. what are you going to do? We're going to install this D-loop. After we burn the little ends on it. So basically what you're doing is you're fraying out the ends there. Yes, sir. So and then when we melt that, we get a little button on it. And the purpose of the button is for what? So it doesn't come untied. So what's going to happen if you tie a bad D-loop? I don't tie bad D-loop. I'm going to punch myself in <laughs> the face. You're going to punch yourself in the nose. <laughs> I don't tie bad D loops. No. <laughs> How many D loops do you think you've tied? A couple. A lot. Couple. <laughs> couple <laughs> several. Twice as many as I've made. Several set thousand. Up, several thousand. Twice as many as I've set up bows. Okay, so you're cutting the cheese. There's the D loop. It's almost finished. So what do you got to do now? We're gonna burn this end down. Then we're gonna stretch it out. Burning her down, stretching it out, and, and then it'll be good to go. Where'd my fire go? Your fire? There it is. Oh, do you want a shorter or long D loop? 
You're gonna get what I put on her. You're gonna get what you give me. <laughs> That's better. There we go. Could have burnt your string off there. That'd have been bad, huh? Kira, Kira yeah, snap. <laughs> okay. You guys are officially witnessing the only contribution that I'm gonna make today. I let the mad professor over here do his thing. And I just figure out how to kill deer with it. But I'm gonna switch this damper with this damper. Watch, it's pretty good. It's impressive. The whole process, if there's anything that we wanna teach you from this video, it's that the damper is everything. And without a good damper, might as well hang yeah. it up, honestly. Why even go hunting We're if we don't do this? De-dampen it. <laughs> yep. You guys are witnessing some greatness right now, honestly. That's it. Ta-da. There we go. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> pressure on. Oh, boy. It's watch the, this. Watch this. The first draw. Okay, watch your fingers, Jesse. Where's the stop at? There we go. So basically, we're waiting. We want this to seek itself for your drop away. Yep. This is got your stops are going to come up here, and then we're going to check and make sure you're in time. Well, both holes. So Not that's the, the hole, right? Yeah. Isn't but it? what we want is this stop hitting the down cable, and this stop hitting the, the other cable right here. Yep, right. Watch your fingers. That one's hitting, that and this hitting. one is. Now it's hitting. How much are we off? Uh, sixteenth of an inch. We're off about half a turn. I tell you what, we're gonna do. We're gonna shoot that a couple of times. Get the strings to settle in. Oh dear. Well. Okay, we got ready to do. Uh, no, we got a. Tight are we gonna crack this puppy open? The yes. HHA Tetra Max. You open that. Beauty, single pin. Decide how you want Nice that. little tiny pin. Gonna be perfect. Gonna be perfect. Well, open her up. So we'll pop this on. Yeah, we'll shoot gonna a few. Turn this around. Now, you, are you running the side mount one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're not... Oh. All right, so basically what we just did was I put my release on here. We took it outside and we fired a shot and we fitted the D sorry, we fitted the kisser and the peep to me and we cheated the peep up the string a little bit more. I wanted it to be higher so that my sight was housed in the middle of the peep in the sight picture and we basically kept this right here. My kisser is always pretty historically tight to my d loop that's just kind of how i like it so we're gonna go shoot again get this sight set up sighted in for 20 and if you guys take a look here at the tape we're trying to get the tape sighted in and you can see it when i rotate it here a little bit you can see zero so we want that zero to be sighted in at 20 so it's all the way backed down right now and once we get that measurement then we're gonna step off and shoot it at 60 and try to pick the right setup tape and then we're going to put the actual tape that i'm going to be shooting this hunting season on the sight wheel of the hha and again this is the tetra max you ready ready how many Let's shots do you think it's going to take uh three to center three to center at 20 and then to what? know where we're at for sure about five shots at about 60 to five find the yep. tape yep cool human uh accuracy here we'll see how we do all right <laughs> all right let's go so right now right now i'm aiming for this circle and the nice thing is i'm hitting perfectly in that circle so that was my second shot in that circle so what we're going to do is we're going to zero in for 20 on this dot right here once i get that set then we're going to shoot way down there at 60 at that orange target so that's our game plan and then we're going to see what sight tape we need Put the side tape on it, tie the peep in, and then we're done. Okay, here we go. So I was aiming right to the right of this dead spot. So right now I'm about 
three finger lengths below where I was aiming. So our 20, our 20 is getting pretty close here. We just got it sighted in at 20. So we're touching a quarter inch little circle sticker at 20. So boom, 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 shot it at 20. Looked back because this bow builds very similar to what I had last year, which was a 31 inch axle to axle bow, same model, same poundage, same let off. And so I looked back at the setup tape that I used last year and then stepped from 20 back to 50. And my first shot at 50, I looked back at what I did last year and I was at the mark 33 on the tape. And first shot at 50, just like whew, right through the target, right in the dead center, mm -hmm. right in the dead spot of the target. So it was on money. It was on the money. And since it's raining, we're going to call that good for today. And I'm going to piddle with 60 a little bit more probably tomorrow after work. And, uh, yeah, before we do that, we're going to get the peep tied in here. We're going to get the kisser tied in as well. And we're going to paper tune this thing. We're going to go out and do a little paper tuning and see if this thing will make a good hole. All right, let's go. Here we go. It always wigs me out when we do this. Get in here. Ready? All right, this is what kind of hole we want right here. All these holes here. We don't want a side tear or an up and down tear. Paper tuning, check number one. We've got the master, Mr. Mike Crawford. Where do you put your pin right in here? Okay. Ready, Freddy? Here we go. All right. We have a little up left. All right, analyzing the tear here, what do we got? You got a little bit of an up left tear. Up left tear? You're gonna have to move your rest a little bit, but we're gonna shoot one or two more. You never tune on one tear. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. So basically what we got here is two consistent tears. And a tear is declared by where the fletchings enter. So the, the arrow entered here, the fletchings entered up and left. So. That's what Mike's saying when he's saying we got a high left tear is that the arrow entered here at this hole, but then the fletchings flew in behind it up and to the left of where the arrow entered the paper. So now we're gonna try to correct that and you can do that by using these micro adjustments on this drop away rest. This is a QAD integrate rest and there's a little micro adjustment for up down on the side there by loosening that Allen. And then to loosen and do your left right adjustment there's another one right there all right 20 we got it you may have to tweak your 20. that's a bullet hole it's six feet at six feet so we may have to tweak the 20. may have to tweak the 20 because we moved your rest a little bit and then you're going to step back here and shoot it at uh, about eight to ten yards okay and see if we can make that same hole it's right, so our last thing we got a string level on here we got the string perfectly leveled in the vise we lined this puppy up and it's level and we're gonna do some second axis leveling with the site housing here so this is level right now and we're gonna make sure that this bubble that's right on the inside of the site housing here is also level so we're gonna basically take the housing and we're going to swing it until that bottom level is lined up with this level and then we'll be done thanks for watching